one is that you won't see a John Law photo like this. Okay? It's gonna be something elegant, nice post um, that defines the gown, this interaction between the bridesmaid and all. When we present a portfolio to Carbo, that's what we promise to deliver and that's what we deliver. Uh, setting different expectations to people and then we just meet and meet way beyond and that's what I did previously. Show you this particular slideshow that I've shot in India. The wedding celebration was about five days. It was for people uh, over there that they see their faces and all that, and that's just amazing. And then they gathered everybody there and then they played the slideshow, uh, the videos. And those last uh, photos that you see people were weeping and crying, they were, they were a real reaction of what happened you know, when they see those slideshows. So I've got to like get my own air ticket. I, I said I got to go there for five days, see this guy, attend his workshop and all. So I started to go in and shoot a lot more people, the bridal party. Don't try to apply every single thing at one go. Right. Eventually, you will see things differently right. more and more and more and pick up and you work on the part of that. I love my photographs to be a little bit more brown per se. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the before and after. You saw the before, and this is what the after is going to look like. Alright? want to bring your eye to, to the subject, duck in the background and bring out the subject in front. I've seen a lot of wedding photographers when the most processed photos, gowns get very very brown and dirty and everything that to me looks absolutely loud. So don't do that. Just drag this down and then you get a reflection. They say if you enjoy your work, it's not like work, right? So if you're shooting your wedding, it's not work, it's play. Have fun. <laughs>